there's really no ideal candidate for blepharoplasty. But if we were to categorize candidates, there are two categories. Number one is the younger individual, male or female, uh, who just wants to look more youthful. It might be somebody that's 40, 45, lost their job, and they're looking for that little edge physically to look a little younger, a little more dynamic, a little more youthful. It's not really impeding their vision. It's not impairing their vision. So there's that segment. Then you have the other segment that are 65, 70, 75, where it actually is a physical impediment to their seeing. Uh, many people before coming in to see me may have seen their optician, optometrist, ophthalmologist, and they do what we call a visual field, where they put their head into a box or cylinder, and then little twinkle lights come around. Okay, and, and that maps out your field of vision. Then what they do is they take your eyelid to simulate a blepharoplasty, and they take that excess skin and tape it up. Then they do the same field of vision. So without taping, this might be your field of vision. When they tape it up, your field of vision might be like this. So it's important from the standpoint of seeing objects above. And the main example is traffic lights. Years ago, and I'm dating myself in the 40s and 50s, they were on the side of the road and you had the red, green, and yellow. And now they're overhead, over the middle of the road. And so that superior field of vision is critical, especially for older people who maybe don't have the reflexes the way somebody that's 30, 35, 40 does. So they have to be extra cautious, extra careful. And doing a blepharoplasty uh, for them actually uh, improves their, their, their ability to see physically.